The scale command will allow you to change the size of selected objects from a set base point or handle location. The base point is the handle location depicted by four blue arrows when one or more entities are selected on the screen. You must first select one or more entities to scale. Select an entity by clicking on it one time with the left mouse button. To add entities to the selection set, press and hold down the shift key on the keyboard. While holding down the shift key, click on additional entities on the design. You can remove selected entities by holding down the shift key and clicking on the entities. You can also select entities by dragging a window around the objects. Anything that fits 100% inside of the window will be selected. Press and hold down the left mouse button, drag the cursor to create a box or window around the entities, and release the left mouse button to select the entities that fell completely inside of the box. If you drag a window around the entities, the base point or handle will automatically appear in the center of the selection set. You can move the handle location if necessary. Set a new handle location from which to scale the selected entities by holding down the control key on the keyboard and clicking on the design screen at the new location. The entities are now ready to scale on the screen. Select the scale command from the edit menu by pressing the keyboard shortcut key of S or from the toolbar icon. Type a scale factor in the scale text box and click on the OK button or drag the mouse to a new location to scale the objects and click one time with the left mouse button. After scaling the entities, press the escape key or click on an open area of the design screen to unselect the entities. You can change the size of text on the screen using the scale command, or you can select the text and use the property command from the view menu. In the properties command, enter a new value for the text size in the text box and press the enter key on the keyboard to resize the text. 